Fingered your sister. You know that I miss her. We were playing Twister. Then she got naked. And my dick went moin yoin yoin. Had to hit her with that Johnson. I took the walk to Poland. Everyone's having a nice day. I need to turn the auto tune off. It's time to turn that off. <laughs> It'd be silly if I was talking in auto tune the whole time. <clears throat> so, uh, hope everyone's having a blessed day. Everything's fine. I'm totally fine. Just walking the path God has laid before me. And sometimes I waver. Touched my worm again, but I don't want to make a whole nother video about that. It just happens every once in a while. I happen to touch my worm. Uh, it's unfortunate, but you got to get back on your feet. I, it wasn't in, it wasn't to anything regular either. It was like some online com comic, some Korean dude drew. I think m maybe some people know what there. It was some hint eye, baby. But it wasn't like the animated. It was like these comic panels. And let me tell you, these little fellows <laughs> really know how to draw some stuff that makes my willy react in a way I didn't know was, was possible. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of wild when you think about the guy behind it making, your, making it making you so rock hard. It's just some gangly little Korean guy. Um, just drawing all these hoes doing the most doing the most darnable things, you know. But uh yeah, it's always just some like nerdy guy and all these hoes want him. It's like, yeah, I mean it's kind of breaking my immersion, it's not how real life works. Uh anyways. But it's actually kinda of weird to think about it because people who are artistically talented, they can like see it in their head. You know, like I'm not very good at drawing because I can't my the visual part of my brain isn't very good at picturing things, right? Um, but people who are really good at drawing, they can sort of see it first, and that's what makes them good, right? So are these are all these like artists who can just do that sort of stuff? Are they like just seeing vivid pictures of people going at it all the time? Just seeing these like naked baddies in their head all the time? I don't know how they could function. All these little fellows. Just makes you think, you know? God damn, it's been three minutes I've been talking about nothing. Okay, confidence. <clears throat> this video is about confidence. Because I've been thinking about it. I think I talked about stuff like this on my main channel, but those videos weren't very good, and I don't. I think I might have changed my opinion. Anyways, so like, I don't know why this memory stands out to me so much. But just like years ago... I can't remember, like two years ago, my friend was like, you should be more confident. And I've heard this said to many people, just, you should be more confident. And it's like, oh wow, I didn't think of that. I did. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. It operates under the assumption that confidence is a choice. Is it though? I'm not saying it isn't. I think it's a good question, but I'm kind of leaning that way. Because is it that, you know, and you know, confidence is a very good thing to have. It, it will propel you far in life, but is it that successful people are confident or confident people are successful? You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe this success comes first. And then you get confident, and then it's a positive feedback loop. The Matthew effect, as I've talked about before, seems to be a, a pretty fundamental part of nature. Those who already have much is given, or whatever it says. 
those who already have not much is taken you know <clears throat> like people act like you could just summon up confidence just start rubbing just like uh, all right confidence strength i'm going to be it's like what do you like what do the fucking what do you, what do you, what do you people think this is this ain't no Disney movie. This ain't no anime. You think I could just uh, flip a switch in my head and be confident? What are you, stupid? I don't believe in any of that mumbly jumbly. Can confidence be built? Sure, I think to a degree. Here's what I was thinking about. Because I, I saw something the other day. It was like, if you make goals for yourself... You, if you keep the promises you make to yourself, like you say, I'm going to go to the gym today, and then you do it. Or you say, I'm going to read today, and then you do it. Or I'm going to do this, and then you accomplish that. That will make you more confident. And I think to a degree that's true. It will make you feel better about yourself. But I think it's a, it's a little disingenuous <clears throat> to assume or extrapolate that to the social realm of men, which is, all, which is, you know, it's sort of like all about dominance and monkey lizard brain shit that, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm simply not convinced you have much control over. For example, uh, approaching girls, right? Uh, not cold approaching like that, that shit's cringe. But in my experience, the, my confidence that uh, will, like the um, the motherfucking uh, dude. Why am I so inarticulate? I need to read more. Maybe that won't help. My confidence to approach a girl is almost entirely predicated on my reception from her or other people. Right? It's not based off what's inside. It's based off outside. Does confidence come from in here? or out there. I think they're two different things. You can have internal confidence, be like, whatever happens, I'm okay. But in the realm of man, the confidence that most people are talking about when we're talking about self-improvement or <clears throat> social circles or all this shit, you know, if you're like PUA, the type of that type of stuff, we're not talking about this internal confidence that you could build by um, all this, like, mumbly-jumbly bullshit, like writing, like doing goals or whatever. It comes from something primitive. It's entirely based on competence, your looks, things like that. The idea that you can build confidence... And just by deciding to do so, I think is just disingenuous. Um, I mean, by going to the gym, will you be more confident? Sure. Sure you will. But there's absolutely no guarantee that it will be enough, you know. Because here, here's what it is. Here's what it is. It's based off other people. Confidence, your confidence is not based on you. It's not based off inside of you. Like some little thing you summon up inside of you. I, don't, I think that whole perception of it is just uh, goofy. What, com what, what confidence is, is it comes externally. It doesn't come internally. It's entirely based on other people. The confidence most people think about when they think of confidence you don't just you don't just meditate and get that shit you can get internal confidence maybe feel good about yourself but when when it comes to the nitty gritty in these social situations I don't really think it'll make a difference <clears throat> your perception of yourself in this way is based off the perception of other people and I think there's a lot of evidence to support this <laughs> you know and uh, I think I said this in one of my past videos and someone was like, it's so sad that you 
you're completely reliant on other people for your self-worth and da 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 it's like i mean i th i think you can like have some internal confidence where you know you you're fine you uh you you don't beat yourself up but i think that's that's cope i think you know everybody is reliant on other people for their self-esteem largely um and I mean, I'm not even like a, I'm not really an atheist, like non-spiritual person. I believe in like a sort of divinity of consciousness that allows you to, uh, this is getting like real uh, fugazi, but I believe that consciously you can make your, you can, you can transcend all this monkey stuff to a certain degree, make yourself feel good, even though maybe other maybe the world has taught you that you should have low self-esteem maybe inside you could feel better about yourself but um i believe in that but i think it's perfectly logical to not believe in that and even if i even that even given i believe in that i think the large like narratives of society like rare like they really overestimate people's ability to um control things like this just places ultimate responsibility on the individual this heavy burden on their shoulders to be completely at the reins of their confidence when it's just not true i'm i'm a person who uh believes in sort of like this spiritual weird shit where maybe you're able to have some degree of control but I think that's like a weird emotional thing that I have that um, hmm, I'm kind of uh, fucking up explaining this, but they just play so much. Uh, people think you have way more control than you actually do as a person. Just generally. This whole idea of fortune has sort of been tossed aside when really, it, you know, it's a big deal. It's a real big deal. So when I'm back to confidence, I wanted to talk more about confidence. Yeah, this guy was like, isn't it sad that you get it from other people? It's like, you do too, man. You do too. That's just where it comes from. We're talking about social confidence. It, it it just all these things are just what people intrinsically naturally think. Like confidence is predicated based off how you're treated. It's a pretty logical, like simple thing, but it, the societal narrative goes against it. People cope against it so much that it's like people start to be in, in denial about it. But it, it just really makes perfect sense. How confident you are is based off how you're perceived by other people, the respect you get from other people. And this whole thing about you shouldn't care about what other people think is a, is like a super half-truth, I think. Because, I mean, I, there's, a certain, there's a certain degree of truth to it that it's like it can be healthy to not, you know, be overthinking, what are they thinking of me, what are they but it's perfectly normal to want respect and admiration from other people, because this is where confidence comes from, confidence comes from, and I'm tired of people acting like it's not, like you can just, like you can just uh, fucking look inside, look inside yourself, everything you need is inside yourself, no it's not, no it's not, you need it from other people, At least I, I have, in my experience, I have encountered no evidence that you could just look inside yourself, quote unquote, and fucking all of a sudden your, your inhibitions are low. You don't care. You're confident. Sounds like a load of balls to me, personally. So...